let's start out looking at this question that we had from the last video. So write an equation for the following. This is one of the options for salaries that we talked about last time. So the salary starts at $20,000 and it grows by 3% each year. So if we're going to write an equation, we know it's exponential because it's growing by a percentage each year. So we're going to use the exponential equation, y equals a times b to the x, where a is your initial value and b is the growth factor. So we start with $20,000 and then we multiply that by 1.03 for every year. X would be the number of years. Y would be what your salary is. So I get a good question all the time. This says 3%. So why do we have 1.03 here? That's not 3%. That's a very good question. So let's have a quick um, review of percentages real quick. So if we're writing percentages as a decimal, all you have to do is divide by 100. So that's going to take the decimal point and move it over twice. So this will be 0 0.03. This will be 0.17. This is going to be 100%. So it's just going to be 1. 1 1.00. You don't have to write those 0 0.00s, but just to show you. So how do you find the percent of something? Well, you just take the decimal form and multiply it. So if we're finding 4% of 40, take 40 and we multiply it by 4%. Times 0 0.04 is 1 1.6. 10%. I'm going to take 40 times 10%. Um, 10 percent is easy. I can just divide by 10, so that's just 4. 100 percent. That's even easier because I'm just multiplying by 1. I know 100 percent is all of it, right? 100 percent is everything. It's just 40. It's not going to change. Same as multiplying by 1. Makes so, looking back at this, why would I multiply by 1.03 instead of by 0.3. Well, if I take 2,000, 20,000, and multiply it by 3%, is this going to be a larger number or a smaller number than 20,000? We should be thinking it'll be a smaller number because that will give me 3% of 20,000. So 1, 2, 3 times 0 0.03, 600. So if I multiply originally, I go from 20,000 to 600. Is that what we want? No, because we're growing, right? I hope next year I'm not making $600. How do we account for that? Let's look at what 20,000 times 1.03 is. 20,000 times 1.03. 20,600. Hmm, that looks a little familiar. 20,600. What happened there? Well, I have my original 20,000, and I also have 3% of 20,000, right? 3% of 20,000 is 600, and that got added on. How did that happen? Well, we do 1.03 because 1 is 100%, and we want 100% of what we already have, and then an additional 3%. That's why we have 1.03 here instead of just the 3%. If I just multiply by 0 0.03, it's going to give me 3%. That's going to be a shrinking salary. That doesn't make any sense. What we do want is everything that we already have, so 100% of that, and then an additional 3%. So it will give me the 3%, and then it will be added on to everything that I already have.
That's why that one is there. So that's something you need to remember and we can't forget.